Hey y'all, welcome to Horrible Gaming. My name is Nora and on today's video we are playing some Disney Dreamlight Valley. So today's video is a little bit more difficult than what I was expecting when I went into this build. It is probably the hardest build I've done in Disney Dreamlight Valley, but my goal today is to basically give Wally and Eve a abandoned conservatory. Obviously I do not have a glass rooftop or windows in this build, so we're gonna pretend that these fell away years ago and it's completely abandoned and nature has kind of consumed the location. So to kind of bring in the pillar landscape that we have around this location on Eternity Isle, I'm going to be doing a centerpiece with these pillars and then I think to make it more overgrown we're going to add a bunch of different plants. Obviously because this location is going to be a more abandoned look, everything can kind of be all over the place and not matchy or structured. So keep that in mind if you are somebody who prefers simplicity and structured builds, this build is going to be completely different from what I normally do for Disney Dreamlight Valley. I also also really wanted to do this idea as well because I think that these two homes are incredibly difficult to decorate. A lot of us are going to be tempted to throw Wally in the desert. I've also seen people give Wally a structured farm location and I think that's a wonderful idea but I'm actually saving my structured farm look for a future build and I want to do a functional farm area. So in summary I just really want each spot on Eternity Isle to have its own theme and vibe so that's why I really want to try to accomplish something a little bit different than what you would normally see for these two homes. Also, what drew me to this idea is how natural the pathing already looks in this map. I have not placed any additional pathing except the little circles that you see in front of the entry. This whole entire location on Attorney Isle is already super abandoned feeling, so I thought highlighting this and kind of doing a unique research facility sort of look would be the best solution for this location, and I think it just would be a little bit different than what you would normally see. And since I want this conservatory to have some research sort of looking vibes. I want to have a dedicated study area like they were looking up how to care for these plants or how to breed them. And obviously since I don't have any glass panels to capture the greenhouse sort of look, I think I'm going to place a gazebo down because it does have glass panels on it. And then maybe I could just place some potted plants inside of that and this could be a little greenhouse for the build. For the next stage of this build, I'm going to go ahead and use this trellis item and this is going to be an overgrown gardening spot. You could definitely turn this into a functional farming location for this build if you wanted to, but instead because I'm just going for looks, I'm going to fill this in with dirt pathing and then place some florals on top of it. I'm also pretty bummed out that we can't move over Wally's garden. I think that this could have been such a great addition to my build today, so I'm going to try to mimic how Wally's garden looks in this little dirt spot that we're going to be working on. So for the next stage of this build, I'm also going to be adding some of the Forest of Valor tiny rocks just to kind of give it a more natural look. I'm also going to extend out these rocks to kind of give it almost a curved natural effect and then I'll fill in the grass locations with some dirt. Now that I got all the natural details done, I'm going to go ahead and detail with some items. If you didn't want to use the planters, I think going with the wooden tables and doing some plant storage on top of it could be a really cute idea. But for me personally, I just really love the floral planters in this location. I just think it really highlighted what this build was supposed to be and just added a nice detail. For the next stage of my build, I'm going to go ahead and place this fountain item and you can get this from the premium shop. I also moved over some of the trees that you can harvest for fruit too. Before I start tackling the other locations, especially near Eve's home, I'm going to go ahead and add some beach grass in detail with some more overgrown light greenery. That way we can capture the more abandoned look in these empty spots. After I place some greenery, I think on the bottom right, that's where I'm going to place my gazebo to kind of capture the greenhouse sort of look. I truly wish we had more gazebo options. Imagine one that was brown and rustic made out of wood with like vines covering it. I think that that would have been such a perfect addition for my build today. That is something honestly that I really do hope to see in a future Disney Dream My Valley update. Before I prep out my gazebo location, I'm going to go ahead and extend out this cobblestone path and I'll blend out the harsh squared edges with some greenery. For this location of my build, I think this is where you're going to find most of the greenhouse-like items. So I want a bunch of plant-like clutter and soil over here just to really capture that greenhouse sort of look. I also originally was going to use some of the Eve items that we get from leveling her up, but when I tested 
these in my build. I absolutely hated it. It just felt too modern and clean for a abandoned look. So this is why you're not going to see any of her items throughout today's build or any modern futuristic Wally like items. So now that I got this whole entire location mapped out, we're going to go ahead and start detailing where I placed my gazebo. As mentioned earlier in my video, this location is going to be where a lot of my greenhouse like clutter is going to be. So I think my goal is to extend the cobblestone pathing out some and then I'll do almost like an L shape with tables and place different potted plants on it. Originally when I added the gazebo to this build I was quite concerned with how elegant it looked but I'm gonna justify it because I need some sort of a greenhouse like element for my build. I also felt like the gazebo kind of helped break up some of the greenery and the area a little bit better and I like that now I have a dedicated spot to do some plant clutter. Honestly doing something abandoned in Disney Dream My Valley was probably one of the hardest things I've done in a long time because I just feel like we're really limited on what we can do. We definitely need more abandoned like items, stuff that feels a little bit more overgrown. In a perfect world, my tables would have vines infested all over them. So I mean, there are so many different things that I really do hope to see in future updates for Disney Dream My Valley because everyone does have their own style. Anyways, after a few more details, this is how my little greenhouse location is starting to look. I definitely think I've captured the vibe pretty well over in this spot. Once I finish adding some more planters throughout this location, I'll probably start detailing on the left side of the fountain and I'm thinking about turning this into a little study room. So for the study build, I thought it looked really nice in between these trees because it kind of just gave it a more abandoned look. This is also inspired by my friend Elle on YouTube. I will have her linked in the video's description. I highly recommend checking her out if you are into Disney Dream My Valley content. Anyways, I thought having an outdoor location would be such a great addition to a abandoned build. When I was designing this too, I honestly wish we had pillar items that were covered in vines or maybe like a stone pillar. Now I am aware that we did get some of these with this update, but I'm talking about something in the dimensions of the one that I'm using. I just think that this would have been a perfect addition to my build, but even though we don't have that, I still think it looks really nice with our bookshelves. Anyways, for the last stage of today's build, we're going to be filling in around Eve's home. Obviously, this is super futuristic it's really hard to get her home looking abandoned. I tried to use her planters with this build, but honestly, it was just getting too futuristic and modern for a abandoned build. So if you're somebody out there determined to keep these two together, we're going to go the more simple option, which is surrounding her home with different plants and trees to kind of give it a more overgrown look and hide the futuristic part of her home. Now, sadly, I will not be keeping Eve here. I actually have different plants for her. I want to give basically a lot of the runes over to Eve and Wally. I'm actually planning to place her on the other side of this wall and that's going to be a more futuristic gardening area. This other idea definitely keeps them still close to each other. They will basically be sharing the runes together but they can have their own separate themes for their home. But if you're somebody who is determined to keep them in one spot, I think hiding her home behind trees and florals is the best option to go about this. So if you're interested in seeing Eve's futuristic garden for my own personal taste, I will be probably doing this on a future live stream. So make sure your notifications are turned on so you do not miss that build. Anyways, after a few more final details, here's how today's video turned out. I think this definitely gives off abandoned greenhouse sort of vibes, which was the overall goal for this build. I'm just really excited about doing something a little bit different for Wally's home. I do hope that it brings you some Disney Dream My Valley inspiration. Before today's video, ends, I do want to give a huge shout out to all of my channel members. Thank you so much for supporting me as a creator. Just your support in general means the world to me. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and have a horrible day. I'll see you next video.